out-of-state investors, I'm going to show you how my team can help you flip houses like this for a fraction of what they cost in your home market. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Nails to show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. Behind the screen, we got my man, Steve Wise. And you know what we're doing today, Steve? We are doing another video for Tiffany from Seattle, man. Oh, so we're flipping some houses. Flipping some fucking houses, bro. That's what we're doing. You know it. Tiffany, what's up, girl? How you doing? Now, Tiffany, uh, just got done doing a video for you on another flip where... I told you I wanted to compare and contrast different markets for you. Uh, you know, I want to show you some real actionable deals, deals we could actually do right now. But I also wanted to, because these are the first two videos I've done for you, I wanted to uh, go over some of your broader questions about the market, right? And uh, in that video, I highlighted my strategy for you for that market, which is you focus on homes that are going to be sold to owner-occupants, first-time home buyers, right? And uh, finding properties that have tenants in them with accidental landlords is a great way to find some distressed sellers because they're really just beating down uh, their values, their ARV and their values or whatever, because they got tenants in there. The tenants actually hurt them. Now, here we're doing something totally different, right? This little green guy right here. This is in a C-grade neighborhood, Tiffany. We're going to have way lower ARVs because the ARVs in these neighborhoods, they're not going to be driven by your first-time home buyers. They're going to be driven by numbers, driven by investors just like you, investors who need to make a return on their investment. 4235 Marvin, Cleveland, 44109, been on the market 32 days. It was on the market, then it went off the market, then it went back on the market, right? So somebody backed out. 58.5 is what they're asking uh, for this property, but you cannot pay 58.5 for this one, Tiffany. You have to get it for less. And you asked me about, like, what negatives could I run into if I try to flip houses in the Cleveland market? And I, I'm going to tell you, the one thing you're going to run into is uh, it's, it's a game of scale. It's a game of numbers, okay? You have to pick these properties up at deep discounts, folks. Like, yeah, you're from Seattle, right? You come to Cleveland because we're cheap, right? You're, we're much cheaper than Seattle, right? You can flip houses for a fraction of the cost here in Cleveland that you can in Seattle, right? But I, I think some investors, they get that, like, notion that, like, because Cleveland's cheap, like, you can just walk up to the, the aisle, the shelf, and be like, oh, I want to flip houses and make 10K. Give me 10K here. Give me 10K here. Like, like we just got all this real estate. Like, ain't nobody going to buy or nothing. That's not how it works, man. The, the, the values are lower, but people are buying it. And if you can get something that's cheaper than its true market value, you're going to have to fight for it, right? So we're going to have to do a lot of these videos for you, right? We're going to be putting in a lot of offers. We're probably going to be putting in a lot of offers that aren't going to get accepted, now, I think comparing the C-grade stuff, which is what this is, versus the B-grade stuff, I think you're going to be putting in even more offers on the C-grade stuff because I think it's even more competitive than the B-grade stuff, right? The reason it's going to be so much more competitive is because these are cheap properties that investors are coming in to gobble up. Anytime there's an opportunity for money to be made, there's going to be a whole bunch of investors. That's, there's investors staring at these properties trying to do that. Whereas the B-grade asset, the reason I targeted a B-grade asset for you with a tenant in there, because that's a neighborhood where landlords aren't really looking. The only people looking at those kind of properties want to live there. They're not interested in trying to make money. OK, so when you have an accidental landlord situation in a neighborhood where the prices are driven by owner occupants, there's not a lot of investor focus over there. Right. So that's where you can kind of sneak in. Right. Hey, lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> uh, here you're going to be dealing with a lot of competition. So I think you're going to be putting in a lot of offers that are getting rejected. So just think about it like fishing, right? You want to, If you truly want to be a flipper and you want to make money flipping, you got to put a lot of rods in the water, all right? And it's going to take time, and it's going to take a lot of due diligence, right? Because we can only go off of so much information from these listings, right? As far as the reno, right? Scroll through all the photos. you got to basically do the same thing to this 
as the, the Parma house I went over, right? So I got the same numbers on here for you. It's a $23,500 cosmetic reno, right? Now, actually, uh, my numbers are probably off there because uh, I think there's only one bathroom in this house. Let me double check that. Yeah, there's actually only one, one bathroom in this house. So that's actually going to make your numbers uh, look better by three grand. So let's keep that in mind, okay? All right, so... The $23,500 reno, right? We'll just go with the existing numbers, and then uh, I'll make sure you understand at the end your gross profit on this. You, you actually have a adjustment of three k, right? So the $23,500 cosmetic reno, right? You're painting and patching the walls, refinishing the hardwoods, your kitchen, your baths, right? The baths should really be three, not six, right? The only reason I have six there is because... Uh, uh, I was thinking two bathrooms. There's only one in this, right? So as far as, like, the high, if, like, you had to really do a screwed-up bathroom, guys, it wouldn't be 12. It would actually only be six on the high end, right? Three to six, right? So 23 and a half, though, that's where I think you should be as far as renovating this home. Now, the ARV on this is going to be 75 k And who's going to buy this? It's going to be an investor. An investor is going to be looking for a rent-ready Section 8 property. They can put a tenant in there at 1000 bucks a month. You give me a rent-ready single-family home uh, that's ready for a Section 8 tenant or already has a Section 8 tenant at 1000 bucks a month, I will sell that to investors at 75 k all day. So what that means is you can't buy it, though, for 58 5 because you got your $23,500 reno, you got the sales commission, which is 7% or a minimum of 5K. So in this case, it'd be 52.50. Closing costs are typically 1%, but 1% of 7, uh, 75K is only 750. Closing companies also have a minimum. So your minimum, I've never seen a closing a title company that's going to do it for less than a G, right? So you're looking at about a G. So your total cost would be 64,750. So that means you have to buy it. That's if you were to buy it at 35K, right? So you could sell it at 75. If you buy it, at 35k plus the 23 and a half thousand dollar reno the five thousand two hundred fifty dollar sales commission the thousand dollar closing cost you're all into the deal would be sixty four thousand seven hundred fifty that would leave you with ten thousand two hundred fifty dollars in profit which was your target but that would actually really be thirteen two fifty because i added an extra three grand in the bathrooms there now that's if everything goes good but remember these these uh videos they're only the beginning of the due diligence process we have to get an inspector in the property because there could be other things right if it turns out we need to completely replace the roof. That could run you about six Gs. If we got to replace the furnace, that's three. The AC is four. Hot water tank, one. Electrical panels, two. Windows, four, right? So once we get in to the contingency stage, we then have to go in, get it inspected by a third-party home inspector, which we can give you referrals if you need to. And then we may have to go back and forth with the seller, right? Because right here, it makes sense. You can make 13 250 right? But if after the inspection comes along, we need a roof at six and a furnace at three and a hot water tank. That's another 10K. Boom, that eats up all your profit, right? So we'd have to then go back to seller and be like, yo, man, we cannot pay 35 based on the results of this inspection. The most we could pay is 25. And that's why, Tiffany, there's going to be a lot of deals that don't get closed for you because so many things have to, to line up. So to answer your broadest question, of like which uh, market do I think is the best for us to focus on? I, I think you'd probably be better suited to try to do flips in the neighborhoods where the only landlords are the accidental landlords because neighborhoods like this, A, your ARV is so much lower. Your ceiling is so much lower. So many more things have to go right, right? The higher the ARV, uh, the more room for error. Like you noticed, a reno on a house like this and a reno on that Parma house, it's going to cost me about the same money to do the reno. I'm going to charge you the same amount of money to do the reno, right? The labor and stuff, it's the same, okay? The only difference is the ARV is basically double in the owner-occupied neighborhood versus is this neighborhood. So I think you got a lot more room for error in those neighborhoods. But uh, if you could pull the deal off at 35 k and everything goes right, you could definitely make some money here. But I think there's going to be more investors who are not trying to flip the house, just want to turn it into a rental, who can absolutely afford to pay more than 35 k and they probably will. So that's what I got for you thus far, Tiffany. I hope that uh, this video and the previous video really kind of 
opened up your eyes to exactly how this process would go and then let me know in addition to uh, getting those broader questions answered for you if you'd like to move forward on this deal or the other deal if so we absolutely can represent you and then of course my team will handle that renovation and then get it resold for you thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment